This is a weather advisory from the New England News. Good afternoon, I'm meteorologist Todd Gross. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch, not a warning, but a watch for eastern Massachusetts. But at the same time, we are showing a line of heavy uh, downpours and thunderstorms with locally gusty winds as well. Now from Newburyport to just about Boston, then it rides westward along the Mass Pike to about Framingham and uh, Ashland and then out to uh, Worcester. Now this line is moving to the east at about 20 miles an hour. There are many thunderstorm cells though that we're watching to the southwest of Boston that we're concerned with. If they stall out, then we can have local flooding from them. The winds did gust to 58 miles per hour in Bedford and we did have a report in Groton about an hour ago of two inches of rain in a short period of time. So while there's no imminent flooding expected, we'll be keeping you posted on the progress of these thunderstorm cells. Once again, stay tuned for our latest bulletins as they occur. Now back to network programming. This has been a weather advisory from the New England News. We now join our scheduled program, already in progress. It's pretty early, huh? Yeah, well, I just remembered that Ivan Hank are out there with all those kids from Paul's party at the pond, and maybe they could use some help, huh? I'll see you later. Hey, Seth, hold on. Uh, listen, I know that it bothered you seeing Josh here with Betsy. This is a weather advisory from the New England News. Good afternoon. The National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch for all of Massachusetts except the southeastern portion. And indeed, there is a line of thunderstorms that we're watching now that extend on our Doppler radar from about Haverhill southwestward to Wayland and continuing southwestward to right near Westboro and Shrewsbury. The ones in uh, Westboro, Shrewsbury, and in Wayland, and in Haverhill, all three of those cells are very strong right now, causing locally heavy downpours. The blessing right now is that they are moving eastward between 10 and 20 miles an hour to the east. That will bring it into Boston in an hour or so, and they're not stalled like yesterday's Quincy storms. If these cells stall, then we will have additional flooding problems similar to yesterday's big problem in Quincy and, of course, out in Milton. So we'll be watching this very closely during the course of the afternoon. Now let's go back to more of our network programming. This has been a weather advisory from the New England News. We now join our scheduled program already in progress. Special in this place. Look, I think we need to briefly discuss what almost happened today. 